Nothing better than Daytona Bike Week at the Kakaberry Campgrounds. Do you have any special talents? Hey, rubbing her, making her feel good. How does it make you feel? Having fun. Oh, life is great. Life is great. How's it going? What you doing? Just doing it. Got to get that whipped cream on there. <laughs> <laughs> All right, baby. We're here in Daytona Beach, Florida at the Cabbage Patch Campground. It's Daytona Bike Week. What's the craziest thing you've seen so far in this amazing week? Uh, I would say uh, the coleslaw wrestling. Wrestling in uh, shredded lettuce, cabbage, and the oil. How does the coleslaw feel? Fucking wet and cold. <laughs> what do you do outside of this? I bartend and I work for the DOD, Department of Defense. Yeah, I do criminal investigations. The country's in good hands. God. Have you got to ride a bike yet? Yeah, I got to ride a bike. They told me I was the fattest dude he ever had on his bike. <laughs> I was just told that your name here isn't Saddam. You got a name change? Yeah, yeah, they call me Brandon. Yeah! Fuck Joe Biden! <laughs> Really? Oh yeah, for sure. Oh yeah. Let's go day let's go daytime, let's go bike week. I wonder what it would be like to to go on a motorcycle. What's the bikey boy life like? Live fast, ride hard, live to ride, ride to live. Channel 5 circle, the Channel 5 circle. Listen to other people rev their engines because Bike Week starts back at Daytona Beach today. Channel 5 School. Biking Boys. Hey yo, what up? We're right here in Sanford. We're in the hometown of Azora Neal Hurston. So far, we've seen like two bikes. We know where they're going Daytona, Dayton, Daytona. I want to see the bike in my dreams. Oh, and then uh, I want to see the uh, coleslaw wrestling and eat some coleslaw. We're on our way to Daytona to go watch Bike Week. Oh, okay. Why are you getting a mask on? I'm a cold dude. Oh, so you wear a mask? Yeah. I'm kind of scared of you. Even though we're black together, I'm still scared of you. That's right, man. We good, man. We all we got. We you don't have got. a pistol, do you? I don't. What's going on, people? I am the one and only Mr. Kirk T. DaVinci. And the T stands for Taylor, honey. I am the keeping it real kid at the iconic House of DaVinci. We are here in Sanford, Florida. You're at Mannequin's Lounge. Yes. What can you tell us about Daytona Bike Week? That is in Daytona, and it involves bikes. Thank you. Go ahead. Thank you. Thank you. Yo, so uh, we're in a Deltona right now. We're uh, not in Daytona yet, but we're getting some Waffle House. I had to recover after that, that amazing show. I ordered uh, the Texas bacon cheese stick milk plate. I put some cheese and the uh, jalapenos on my hash browns. Never done that before, but uh, it sounded pretty good. And I'll probably, I'll probably do it when I get home too, you know. Man, Man I want to get a bike now, I'm not gonna lie. Oh, uh, we out here. We at Daytona Beach. We, uh, it's Bike Week. Everybody out here, hey, they putting the gas in the exhaust to make the flames come out. Hey, when's your birthday? December. You're Sagittarius. Yeah. Team Sagi, bitches. Why you got a mask on? Mask on. I'm still worried about COVID. Ain't nobody been worried about COVID since COVID started here. We're here. It's Memorial Day weekend in Daytona. Fuck the bar. I just survived two headshots, cuz there's no corona out here. These hoes got AIDS, y'all talking about the corona. And it's cold. It ain't cold, nigga, we live in Florida. What can you tell me about Daytona Bike Week? It's, it's the best. What's your favorite thing about it? 
What's my favorite thing about it? Seeing niggas balling. Okay. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Because most motherfuckers don't see, think or think of motherfucking niggas on bikes. Right. And this hater ass motherfucker right here. No, I don't, but I know you're hating, so it doesn't matter. Hey. <laughs> What's up, bro? What are we talking about here, boys? We're here talking about Bike Week. Bike Week? Oh my god, dude. So much ass, so much pussy, so much everything. You got it, dude. You want it, you get it. Razzles over there? Fucking wild. What's Razzles? Razzles? College bar. College bar? Yeah, dude. Fuck, you want it young? Tell you me, want it tell prime? Me you think about Biden. Tell me what you think about Biden. Biden? Fuck Biden. Baltimore, Maryland. So what brings you over here? A random air, Airbnb. You, you run an Airbnb? Nah, fuck no, fuck that. Yo, hey yo, I know you. You know me? Are you father? You know what I mean? Yeah. Alright, alright. Yeah, yeah, look at God. Yeah, yeah, look at God. Airbnb. Yo, so we just got to downtown Daytona. Just in time uh, for the cops to show up and shut it down. But, uh, you know, next time we'll. We finna get here with everybody on time. We're gonna hit Razzles. Razzle. Uh, all right, what's up? Uh, we in Daytona. It's uh, day one and a half, and uh, it's uh, it's pretty chill. It's just a bunch of bros uh, bonding over bikes and, uh, and babes. You know, kind of just like, hey, I like the way you uh, you keep your hog clean, and uh, you got some pretty cool handlebars. Can I grip them? So uh, we got into the hotel last night. And uh, we got we got in at a pretty good price of uh, ninety dollars. We enjoyed this, our stay here. They got some nice like uh, weird ass beds, it's like kind of like springy type shit. Like it's really like air. It's like it's like a, uh, it's a metal spring mattress, right? Mm -hmm. It ain't that comfortable, but I kind of like it. it. It reminds me of when I was younger. Ah, fuck that! This guy snores <laughs> so fucking loud. All right, so I guess uh, yesterday we were at uh, downtown. It's more like a like a tourist area. So right now we're headed towards uh, Crackerberry. And uh, we're gonna check it out. It's more of like a locals only type type shit. So uh, you know, we might get some some real Daytona, some real Daytona shit. Crackerberry right now we made it I, I got my leather vest on and uh, right now I'm trying to figure out what patch like really speaks to me you know uh, I'm a I'm sort of a badass but do I really want to put that on my vest I don't know patch app patch app <laughs> what the? oh I think we meant to say cash app yeah the best way to pay for patches is it like a cash app like a peer-to-peer -peer money sending service it's it's a lot more than a peer-to-peer -peer money sending service it's almost like a bank and it's a great way to invest in stocks and cryptocurrency. And I don't know if you know, but you can actually use code CHANNEL5 for a free 15 bucks for new users. That's cool. 15, that's a good amount. Cash App. Cash App. Dallas Dan. What are you gonna do right now? We ride motorcycles and go-karts around the inside of that silo barrel right there. You can hear them in there warming one up right now. We don't care how smart these kids' phones are, they're not going to experience anything like this on that phone. So how did you get into it? What is it that makes guys do crazy stuff? Number one thing. Uh, I, girls? <laughs> you got it, buddy. A pretty <laughs> blonde-haired girl. <laughs> That's all I'm at, man. You about to go crazy. Let's go, Dan. <laughs> Things we do for love. <laughs> Hi. Hey, what's up? Why do you have a ski mask on? Why not? <laughs> I fucking love it. Really? Oh yeah, for sure. I love it. Oh yeah. Let's go, day, let's go Daytona, let's go bike week. Woo, bike week! The babes are loving me right now. Oh, <laughs> uh, so I'm on World Star. I got a video of some chick pulling my titties out when I knock her out and I'm all, 
bitch, pull my titties out. I don't give a fuck. We travel the country wrestling. That's what we do. Oh, really? Yeah, like we bartend right now and bike wash, but like that's we're in a different city every night. We're called the Hollywood Knockouts. And Organized it. violence keeps me out of trouble. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> I come back from a week long tour with a thousand dollars and a pound of weed, and I'm like, bitch, get in the van. Like, you can't do this shit when you're 40. I'm not sure how how sanitary that is. I'm not sure how long uh, the coleslaw has been out there. We all know it's a dairy product, and uh, dairy should always be refrigerated. How does the coleslaw feel? Fucking wet and cold. <laughs> Smells terrible. Would you eat some after? Fuck no. <laughs> what do you do outside of this? Uh, I bartend and I work for the DOD, Department of Defense. Like, defense, like for like the city or the country? The country. Oh, really? Yeah, I do criminal investigations. The country's in good hands. Uh, I wouldn't say that. I'm kind of a hooligan, clearly. Do you still look at coleslaw the same? Fuck no, I ain't never eating that shit again. What do you do outside of this? On Saturdays, what do I do? Yeah. I just moved and I'm building a house. Oh, yeah. You yeah. got a microphone. Yes, yeah, sir. Yes, sir. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Hey, how we doing this? Hey, I'm Big J. It's my birthday. Hey. Right, so we do. We go over here and get this We go hard, we go slow, and not all. My buddy's over here fucking looking like a douchebag. So I'm over here by my goddamn self. Yeah. He was the ride or die, but we go hard, and I'm the hard as fuck. That's right. Let's do it, man. Happy birthday. Oh, yeah. Happy birthday. Oh, yeah. What do you have to say about Bike Week? Fuck, I love it. Come here for 11 years. 11 goddamn years. My birthday weekend. This is my birthday. We go hard. We go hard as fuck. It got a little bit weird, but I bring it. I bring the weird. Now, I'm over here, and we're going to go hard on a, with the pool. Pool, maybe a coast hall rest. Ooh. Are you excited about the wet t-shirt contest? Oh yeah! That's it, that's it. I'm a fucking retard! I love it! Fuck Joe Biden! The nipple! If it's not sticking out like that, and it's about like that, that's a good fucking titty! Yeah! I want some nipples that can cut fucking diamonds, son! Yeah! Let's see some fucking titties! All right, big man, jump up there. There you go. Oh, hell yeah. Here we go. Let's take him out a little bit. Let's just see what you got, big man. Come on around. There you go. There you go. Looking good right there, big man. Keep your balance now, okay? Not too bad. Come on, big man. Yeah. Get it. Ride it, big man. Oh, hell yeah. You got him. Stay right there. Don't get on the side of him. Now. Oh, no, cowboy down all over here. Big man that hit the damn dirt. What did you think? What did you think of my bull riding? I think it was great last night. I think you done damn good. I've had everybody you think of on this bull. The late Greg Almond, he's been on this bull. Colt Ford, he's been on this bull. Even the damn Honey Boo Boo Bunch, they've been on this bull. And you've been on it too, see? Yeah, <laughs> true, true. I really, I do a lot of laughing at this shit. I like, I like your commentary. Thank you, buddy. I appreciate that. It ain't nothing but a little bit of bullshit, that's all it is. Just, just a little bit. I have rode hundreds of thousands of
the people. I've never had nobody say they didn't have a damn good time out there. Have you ever rode a bull yourself? One time. Only because the girl said she want to ride with me and she would get toppers. I thought, yes, we'll do this. <laughs> <laughs> we do. And that's the only time I've ever been on it. On vient du Canada, l'eau des feux en mer, des parties sans civière. Oh yeah, where are you from? Quebec, Canada. Did you ride your bike here? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Whoa. Woo! Oh yeah. Police, do you have a handcuff? I want to be handcuffed now. <laughs> hey, police, police, do you have a handcuff? I want to be handcuffed now. <laughs> it's my dream, handcuffed by police. <laughs> Uh, can you tell me what kind of bike this is? This is, uh, it's just a custom bike, it has no brand because everything we made on the bike is all metal. We made everything from scratch. From the frame, to the bag, to the tank, to the seat, to the handlebars, to the exhaust. The only thing was bought on this bike was the engine and the wheels. Everything else we made. What kind of uh, different bikes are there? There's uh, touring bikes, soft tails, uh, sportsters, metric, uh, dirt bikes, sport bikes. Okay, there's nobody that you think is like a poser? Of course, like anything else, there always is, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like the CEO, during the week he's in a suit and tie, on the weekends he wears his other vest, his headband, his watch, his twin rings, his belt, his boots, his Harley, and then gets on a stock bike. <laughs> so, yeah, of course. Okay. You know, this is my business trip. Everybody says have fun in Daytona, but this is my business trip. When I was with Home Depot, I go to Georgia and sit in an office, jack off in the AC, for five days and hated it. So this is my business trip that I love. So I'm, you know, blessed to have something that I love to do every day. Nice. Yeah. Let me know when you're ready to go. Oh, we're ready, you're ready. Hey everyone, this is Mark Hall. We're out here at Cackleberry Campground. It's actually Cackleberry. Excuse, <laughs> excuse, <laughs> excuse the, 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 what I was saying earlier. So right now we're headed towards uh, Crackerberry. So right here, we're in Crackerberry right now. We made it. <laughs> but I understand why people would call it that. Um. <laughs> like I said, we're out here at Cackleberry Campground on Mark Hall, riding and flying productions, riding a motorcycle and flying a drone, because that's what I do. They have a 200 foot slip and slide that you can only go down naked. It's the only way you're allowed to go down it. They uh, do a tractor pull, so they've made a miniature tractor pull, a realistic tractor like they'd use in a professional tractor pull, and whatever girl can pull that the furthest with her G-string wins that case as a beer. So, it's always something going on. Now you're getting a bottle of baby oil, okay? Once again, do not squirt the ladies in the hair of the face, okay? If it gets in the eyes, it'll be blurry all day, and that'll suck really bad. Also, no, that's all. Go ahead and play that next song. Oh! Here we go, baby! We got Blue right here, the reigning champion. He beat me out from my spot in the wrestling match, so now I'm here coaching. You got a mask on! What the fuck? We got Sarah has been laying down here fucking great. We got Blue. It looks like he's about to fucking die of hypothermia right any minute. Hey, show the ass right now. Look at that ass. Oh, now they're sitting on cock. This motherfucker is where it's at. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Look over here in the corner. Look over here in the corner. What's going on? You got more money in your grill than I got in my pocket. <laughs> Week, baby. What's going on? Well, uh, right here, I'm going to wrestle Blue. Uh, hopefully, she don't kill him. Oh! 
I'll tell you what, it was awesome, but I couldn't take three rounds because they had a heart attack. That's how good they was. What was the best moment? I come all over my pants. I come all over my pants. That's not my best one. You what? I can't say that no more. All right, baby. We're here in Daytona Beach, Florida at the Cabbage Patch Campground. It's Daytona Bike Week. I just came from the People's Convoy. Freedom! Putin is doing the right thing. Take a flight here, got a rental car, and I surprised the homies. What's the craziest thing you've seen so far in this amazing week? Yeah, I would say uh, the coleslaw wrestling. Wrestling in uh, shredded lettuce, cabbage, and the oil. Have, have you got to ride a bike yet? Yeah, I got to ride a bike. They told me I was the fattest dude he ever had on his bike. I was just told that your name here isn't Saddam. You got a name change? Yeah, yeah, they call me Brandon. Why do they call you Brandon? I don't know. <laughs> I'll, I'll need to feel comfortable saying Saddam. <laughs> Is it Let's Go Brandon related? Yeah, yeah, I think so. Something told me, he was like, this guy's Black Lives Matter. And he was like, but not over here. We got we got the mask man for fucking New York over here. Yeah, Black Lives Matter, but it doesn't matter. <laughs> what you guys doing out here? Just modeling, walking around, being pretty, being villains, being pretty villains. Did you see the new Batman movie? Not yet. I'm hyping myself up. I heard the vibe. Do you think it could ever compare to Christopher Nolan's Batman series? Probably not. What's your favorite movie in the whole Batman franchise? I'm gonna go with The Dark Knight. I think Batman Begins is a little bit underappreciated as well, but Dark Knight's definitely a masterpiece. <laughs> it's really good. So, uh, what are you guys doing? Just, just walking around. What's your dream for like your whole life? Um, well, I'm doing dark, doing black metal vocals. I would love to be in a band one day. Can you give us one note? <laughs> um, <laughs> no, I can't. I'll try if you try. <laughs> okay. You did good. What what you doing? What you doing? Anything I want. Here, kitty, kitty, kitty. Who's kitty? Well, what the hell? What do you think? Catwoman. Peace. All right, next up we got this. 40. 30 going once, I'm looking for 40. 40 over here, I'm looking for 50. Who's got They're dumping shaving cream all over these babes right now. There we go. I know I'm going once. How's it going? What you doing? Just doing it. Got to get that whipped cream on there. Like this. And that's what it's about. What, what you doing? Hey, rubbing her, making her feel good. How does it make you feel? Having fun. Oh, life is great. Life is great. What's the best thing about this? Oh, just see them all have fun. Having a good time and relaxing. Where are you from? Oh, uh, from Wisconsin. What, what are you doing out here? Down here drinking beer and having a good time, spending money. Wacko! <laughs> Look at this stuff. <laughs> These guys better not be taping this. Nothing better than they throw the bike week at the Kakaberry Campgrounds. Do you have any special talents? Nah. I think this is going to get NC-17 pretty soon. Might be a good time to get that Patreon subscription. Because it's going to be like porn. If you want porn, go on the Patreon. If you want to see that guy butt naked, get on Patreon. $5 a month. Cash app. <laughs> Channel 5 out here, baby! Woo! Daytona! Fuck with me! Are you a bike? Are you a bikey boy? I don't know what the fuck that is, but I love you, dude. Can you tell us about Daytona Bike Week? Uh, no! I've been arguing my wife the whole time. Uh, I hate my life, but I'm here, and I really don't care at this point, so fuck it, right? There yeah. you go. Fuck it, baby! Woo! Are you a bikey boy? No, I'm not a biker boy. Okay, just asking, sorry. No problem. I'm not offended by that. Are you offended by anything? Very little. So I, I take it you're not a huge fan of uh, surgical masks to protect from COVID-19. I think COVID was a planned, it was, it, was, it, was, it was a prepared plan thing. Who planned it? Well, who planned it? I don't know. There was more than just one person involved in that. Like Top it. three offenders in the COVID-19 scam down I'm, I'm, I'm not getting into that. New product. What does the Kool-Aid man have to do with it? That's Jim Jones. Jim Jones like the rapper from G-Unit? No. Jim Jones, like the preacher from the 70s. He was a pretty uh, renowned anti-racist activist before he went went dark. Well, I didn't know all about that. All I know is he was known for uh, taking all his people down to somewhere in Central or South America 
And then uh, when the CIA was coming into uh, Raiders camp, yeah. made everybody drink cyanide laced Kool Aid. It's thing. almost like he lied to them and like pushed them into like action, and some of them died or like went to jail for the rest of their lives. And he didn't do anything to help them, right? Thank you very much. Man, how you feeling? I agree. With what? COVID sucks. Do you agree with coexist? I don't know about the coexist. We're all, we all need to coexist. Look, man, we're always going to have to figure out how to coexist. Uh, I think that the um, that powers that be don't want us to coexist. They want to create the divide. Are you libertarian? Do I do I agree with libertarian principles? Yes, I do. Just live streamer boys. Hey! Hey! hey. Hey, shit, man, <laughs> big fan, bro. Yo, we're yeah. doing Florida crazy right now, actually. What's Florida, what's Florida crazy? Honestly, it was inspired by you guys, bro. Really? Yeah, That's for it. sure, for sure. You only ever hear about the Florida man after the fact. You know what I mean? You what's the, what's the crazy shit you've heard uh, this weekend at Daytona? I shove, I shove dollar bills up in a stripper's pussy, bro. Money in a vagina. I feel like I wasn't a man until today, bro. Look, I got spit crawling down my face right now, bro. Just thinking about it, my face is wet, bro. I fell in love tonight, man. I have a girlfriend, yeah, I'm in love with her too. Do you think she might be kind of mad when she sees this? Possibly, but you know what? She understand, bro, it's for the bag, bro. TikTok, Instagram, that's what it is. Love isn't a simple thing, dude. You can love several people as a man. What do you think about polygamy? If I can fuck bitches, yes. But if she wants other dicks, no. I don't know, I just came back from taking a piss, so I kind of missed the whole interview. Yup. Oh, we're doing great tonight, man. We're out here in Daytona. I just played over here at the patio. I DJ make music. It's a lot of fun. What kind of music do you make? Uh, EDM music, but like deep weird shit. It's a lot of fun. It's a, it's a really crazy journey. It is. Yeah, man. Yeah. <laughs> What's your favorite song you've ever made? Um, we're in the progress right now. I'm making this one. It's going to be out in July. We're naming it Roots. Roots. Like after the uh, Alex Haley book? No, more after like... Uh, uh, you got to move in the groove into this one, yes. Uh, one, two, jam man, Jamaica rocket, and uh, boom, boom, pow. So it, like that. it's sort of like an homage to your Jamaican roots? Yes, yes. My grandfather's Jamaican. Really? Yeah. Well, uh, what, what part of Jamaica is your grandfather from? I'm not sure. Would you ever go to Nigeria? Oh, for sure. For sure, I heard Nigeria is a beautiful country. What's up, bro? Are you from Nigeria? Yeah. How is it there? Wonderful. Yeah. Ask me anything. What's the main language of Nigeria? The main language? Yeah. It's English. I've heard different. What you hear? I, I heard that they they speak other languages there. No, yeah, they speak other languages, but English is the main one. Uh, Yoruba, Igbo. That's Hausa. what I've heard. Yes, yeah. that's what I've heard. Do you know any? Nah. No. He's not a real giant Nigerian. You guys are lying to me. <laughs> Can you, you speak Jamaican? Lying. No, but I didn't say I was from Jamaica. You said you had Jamaican He's room. lying. Uh, he's Where's the suit? Where's the suit? What are your thoughts about Putin? <laughs> what are your thoughts about Putin? Some, some nuts in your mouth. Oh, dude. <laughs> Dirtona, dog. Come on. What, what, do, what do those noises mean? And then bop, bop, like a drive-by, you know? So it's like... You know? Did I answer your question? Yeah, I guess so. It's been a great interview.